Holy smokes, totes, my goats. There is a lot happening in Canada. Yesterday, you had our government that came out with our budget 2024, which basically takes all our money and burns it to the ground. And today, well, there is an uproar because the budget 2024 came in a massive package 400 pages that's like a jk rowling harry potter book welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video everybody before we get into it i want to encourage everyone to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet already we are a carbon tax away just a little pinch away from 400,000 subscribers and if you don't want to subscribe to support me do it because the government doesn't want you to we got a lot of shit to cover we got an update in the polls we got a song by a conservative mp that just totally bashes on Justin Trudeau. You've got Jagmeet that's thinking about leaving the coalition. You have new mortgages in Canada. Not only have they come out with 30-year amortization, but they've come out with kosher mortgages. Sorry, halal mortgages. Yeah, no, you heard that right. Halal mortgages. Apparently, they're interest-free. We're going to take a look at it. There's some missing disinformation. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Gross. Ah, I need to go wash my mouth after that. There's some lies that are circulating online about what that is. So we're going to take a look at what the real halal mortgages are because there's a massive uproar. Also, there's a lot of Palestinian protesters that are blockading different parts of Canada. I don't even know how the hell we're going to fit this in in a 20 minute ish long video, but bear with me and I encourage everyone to stick around for the full thing. Let's get through this as fast as we possibly can. So update in the polls. Conservatives actually went down a little bit on their projection. They were at 210, then they were at 208. Now they're down at 206 with bottom line 180, top end at 227. I do think this is going to flip, though. I do think this is going to go higher. I'm not sure why it's going lower. Maybe because a lot of people have come out and they actually like the budget, people that are benefiting from it, like Indigenous groups. The Indigenous community just came out this morning, or some people, some representatives, rather. Not everybody, but some representatives came out and they said that they actually are benefiting fitting quite well from the budget but let me just remind everybody let me just remind everybody if you are thinking about voting trudeau for the liberals or jag me for the ndp just just remind remind you that trudeau has the only thing that he's really promised that he's successfully uh you know done is the legalization of marijuana in canada everything else has been just Fubar. It's all been made up. He's made these false promises. He's had eight years to, to try and do some stuff and he hasn't done them. So that's why you have them sitting at 1% with the Conservatives. 99% most are likely to win the most seats and 99% likely of winning a majority government. So even though the Conservatives are going a little bit down in the polls projections, they're still sitting at 99% likely of winning. So that is all good news there. Next up, we have a woman who made a TikTok video or whatever about a trucker in Canada who's paid like almost three grand in carbon tax alone. Let's take a look. Canada, we're going down here. I have to show you guys something. This trucker posted his receipt to show how much he pays in carbon tax. And oh my gosh, I, okay. So 41.69.93 is what he paid. Can you guess how much tax he pays on top of that? $2,500 just in taxes. Well, guess who's going to have to compensate for that additional $2,500 to consumer? Who? Oh. All right. So here's how the budget 2024 has been working. If you don't make a lot of money, whether that's through circumstance, whether that's through, you know, qualification or lack of whatever it is, if you're, if you're below the poverty line, okay. A lot of people call it laziness, whatever it is that you want to call it. If you're on disability, whatever it is, right. If you're making below a certain income threshold, you get a lot of government handouts. You actually get the, the carbon rebate check. Apparently now, if you're middle class, you're paying for a lot of this stuff through taxes. And if you're upper class, the government is taking all of your money and distributing it to the other brackets. That's kind of the wealth distribution that you're seeing here in Canada. But the way that the government is distributing all of this money, all the tax funds, it's not, it's, well, it's just not working. It's very incompetent, which is why you have conservative MP who wrote a song about the budget. This is insane, man. Only in Canada would this happen. That it's going to get. Now Trudeau's budget is quite a disaster. We earn the money. He 
spends it faster And everyone knows, even my pastor The budgets won't balance themselves <laughs> That was bad news I went to go fishing Checked the garage My truck is now missing But I got a part This PM should be kissing For letting these punks out on bail My God. Let's bring it on. We need a blue solo cup. Red one's messed up. Let's bring it on. Let's bring it on. Now the farmers are trying to make our food cheaper. The gas is already two bucks a liter. The food bank lineups keep getting deeper. Why won't you ask the And happy spouses. Now folks are living in tents by the thousands. Why can't you build the homes? Blue solo cup. This red one's messed up. Let's let's bring it home. Let's bring it home. This is incredible, and it's also extremely sad. And I'm explain why. I am 30 years old, and never in my life has politics affected everybody to the point where now you even have banger songs that are written about politics and politicians. Usually, these types of songs are about bluegrass movements or sports or whatever it is but now it doesn't matter whether you're into politics by choice or not it's everywhere it's in your face you go to the grocery store you're like why is shit so expensive well come a little closer let me tell you exactly why things are expensive you see the blue solo cup the red one's messed up let's bring it home everybody is paying attention to politics whether you want to or not and so that's going to great segue into the next big thing here in Canada this coalition here's what Jagmeet Singh the man who's literally responsible for keeping this coalition together what he has to say about the budget he actually doesn't even agree with the budget which is insane call the coalition off Jagmeet do what you need to do and call it off now, you're not willing to say whether you are going to support this budget or not because you say you have concerns. And I know it's a long list of them. So let's go one by one because you, you began your news conference today by talking about a failure to take on corporate greed. What would you have liked to have seen? A wealth tax on excess profits, uh, something like the UK and other countries in Europe have done with uh, respect to uh, corporate grocery stores, oil and gas companies. We know that these companies aren't just making any old profits, they're making record profits. And we know that they are driving up the cost of living for Canadians. And that is a problem. And that is the major problem that Canadians are faced with right now. And the Liberals missed out on their major opportunity to bring down the cost of living by tackling corporate greed. And so that's a concern I have. So then what he needs to do to get what he wants is to cut off this coalition and allow for a election to be called. And unfortunately, until that happens, we are stuck with people like this. This is a video of finance, Chris, finance minister Christian Freeland says our government is fiscally responsible when asked if balance if a balanced budget matters to the government. Oh yeah, yay. Now, I also want to talk about the, your financial guardrails here because I appreciate that your government has kept your economic guardrails. But there is no path to balance. You heard the criticism. You've heard it before. There were no cuts made to reduce the $40 billion deficit that was posted today or, 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 or predicted past one and then going forward for the next fiscal year. Does a balanced budget matter to you or your government at all? I'll tell you what matters to me. What matters to me is a fiscally responsible budget. What matters to me is maintaining Canada's AAA credit rating, which is the basis for the ratings of all provinces, which is the basis for the ratings of businesses in our banking sector. It's made up at this point, though. It's made up. Canada's AAA credit rating, it doesn't mean anything if we have a quadruple A credit rating. If most of Canadians are feeling that it is unaffordable, who 
cares about a rating on paper. Nobody cares about that. It's like the government lying to our faces and saying inflation is under control. It's now at 2%. It doesn't make any sense, dude. You're paying 30 bucks for a dozen mandarin oranges. You're paying $15 for like a gallon of milk or something along the lines. It's just, it's so crazy. And when you're paying 60% in taxes on fuel alone, I just, it's not justifiable anymore. It's not justifiable. And speaking of not justifiable, we're going to segue into these kind of out of control, what the government has called anti-Semitic protests. You got the Palestinian protesters that are taking over uh, Canada. Protesters use colorful language and accuse police of damaging vehicles parked outside of scrap yard and a body shop. Let's take a look here. You guys just broke the fucking people lost to. You guys just broke the fucking people lost to. You guys just broke the fucking people lost to. You're not doing your job, you fucking prick. You're insulting people. You guys just broke the fucking guards. You broke it. These protests are getting out of hand, folks. We have some more footage here. You've got protesters that shut down a railway track at Dundas and DuPont to demand an immediate arms embargo against Israel. That's right. They're shutting down a one railroad track in Toronto to demand something overseas. That I don't understand, but I mean, everyone has the right to protest. And as you can see here, it has 122,000 views. I mean, you look at the comments, this is Trudeau's Canada. Why aren't they arrested for F sakes? Let's take a look at the video. <laughs> <laughs> the protesters are saying go get a real job to the cops. So, so far in the past few days, you have Palestinian protesters have, um, you know, taken over Ottawa in, in, in the sense of the streets. They've done immense amount of protesting in their super large numbers. The same thing with Toronto. And um, and they've shut down one of the ports uh, temporarily, I believe. I'm not even sure if the Delta port is back up and running out in Vancouver, as well as they shut down for many, many hours, Golden Gate Bridge down in California. I mean, this is, it's getting out of hand. It's getting pretty wild. Uh, and I just kind of want to pass the question off to you. Do you think that there's a bias, not just here in Canada, but in America with these Palestinian protesters? It seems like the media is not really attacking or painting some sort of narrative or they're not even covering these protests really. And the governments are just letting them happen, even though they're seemingly breaking quite a few laws, especially in Canada with all the smoke grenades and stuff like that. But I'd love to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Next up, we have probably something you're very interested or excited or concerned in terms of hearing about. You have the halal mortgages. Yes, it is a real thing. This is a tweet or post on X by Six Buzz TV. The federal government says it plans to explore new measures like a halal mortgage which it turns out it is a real thing. This is from City News. Federal government begins exploring the halal mortgages. Uh, according to a federal budget, the liberal government has already begun co co consultations with financial services providers and diverse communities to understand how federal policies can better support the needs of all Canadians seeking to become homeowners. So they're going to make it Halal mortgages. The Islamic faith considers the charging of interest to be a form of usury and considers gains made through interest to be unjust. This is real, folks. Halal mortgages are seemingly a way to not pay interest to the bank. So, it's very controversial. Are they paying interest or are they not paying interest? Can anybody get these interest-free mortgages? Can we all just get, you know, uh, halal mortgages? What about kosher mortgages? What about regular mortgages? Why the exception? 
Well, we're going to take a look at that in a moment here, and hopefully this answers some of your questions. Other er uh, other faiths like Judaism and Christianity also consider usury to be a sin. However, financial institutions operating in the Islamic world are unique in offering mortgage and lending products that avoid conventional interest payments. So if you are of a separate faith, you are SOL. Mortgages uh, compliant with Islamic law are already offered by some financial institutions in Canada, though none of Canada's five big banks currently offer them. And that's what's in the budget 2024. From my understanding is that they're going to try to get these with the five big banks, right? So that's with TD, BMO, RBC, CIBC, and I feel like I'm missing one because that's four, but the other one there as well. Um, speaking on background, civil servants say alternative mortgages would not necessarily be interest free, but could include regular fees that replace interest charges. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is so controversial, and I'm sure this will provide absolutely no backlash to the federal government. Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Christian Freeland tabled a housing-focused budget on Wednesday that included a projected deficit of $39.8 billion on fiscal 24-2025 and includes $53 billion in new spending over five years. The majority of new spending had previously announced and put special emphasis on generational fairness and helping younger people. So as you can see, it's not really detailed as to what the actual hell a halal mortgage is, but we're going to take a look at the backlash that's already being brought to this on X. You have people saying, I identify as Muslim, no more interest payments. Yay. I even stopped eating pork. People are saying you have uh, Justin Trudeau just introduced halal mortgages into Canada. looks like I'm converting every Canadian shit. The banks would fall apart. What an effing joke this country is. What the F is a halal mortgage? You have Kevin in Canada says no interest. The bank buys the house for you and sells it back to you for more over time or something similar to avoid interest. Functionality, uh, it's not that different and not something to get worked up about. From what a Muslim colleague told me, it's more expensive than a conventional mortgage. So some people are saying that it's more expensive and other people are saying it's not. The TLDR is that it's a way to cut out paying interest to the bank, but apparently that that cost is being put in other areas. I'm not sure how. It's not really clear anywhere. Great news for property owners in Canada. 30-year amortization will not, will allow more first-time home buyers to enter the market, driving up prices. Halal mortgages will allow more Muslims to enter the market, driving up prices. Increases on capital gains taxes will encourage landlords to hold rather than sell, driving up prices. Okay, someone says, I wonder if the halal mortgages are a way to convert Canada to a Muslim country, a mortgage with no interest. Sign me up. Some, and this person who originally posted this says, same interest, they just changed the wording because Allah is easily fooled by semantics. And I'm sure that will not provide any backlash. You have Yukon Strong saying Sharia law will never come to Canada. Oh yeah, then explain halal mortgages. Muslims don't pay interest. Oh well, shut up and pay, you bigot Canuck. What is a halal mortgage? Everywhere it's saying that uh, Sharia law prohibits riba or loans that charge interest. Conventional mortgages are forbidden for practicing Muslims. To meet the spiritual and financial needs of Muslim homebuyers, a number of Canadian lenders are now offering halal mortgages. Many Canadians might associate halal with the, the three Sharia complaints. Okay, so again, it doesn't really explain what is going on under the typical agreement the financial buyers uh, the, or the financer buys a property and immediately sells it to you the customer at a higher price that includes a profit the amount of profit is based on a number of factors including your risk profile credit history deposit amount the property value and repayment term instead of owning the property as an individual you hold the property title within a corporation that you set up for this purpose unfortunately this makes you ineligible for the land tra transfer tax rebate available to first-time home buyers in some provinces there are however variations of murabaha available in canada where the borrower assumes ownership of the property directly without having to take a step take the step of purchasing it through their lender so 
again, to summarize everything, it, it it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. It's a it's a it's a loophole around finances to appease to people's religious beliefs and ideologies. So now you're taking religion and you're applying that to money and math. And I just, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get where the hell Canada is going. Look, you you come to Canada, you're free to practice your religion. That's fine, man. Nobody has a problem with mosques or synagogues or churches. That's cool, dude. Practice your religion. But now changing the the banking industry and having, even if it is more money, even if a whole law mortgage is more money, just having all of these options, is, is that really diversification and inclusion? Or is that going down the whole pronoun thing of like, where does it end? Because now you're going to have other communities, other religions saying, well, why aren't we getting other mortgages under our branch of ideology and our religion? It, it just seems like it's it, we're going down this trajectory of inclusivity and inclusiveness, and it's starting to become a little bit wild and look i'm not trying to step on anybody's religious toes and beliefs man you you want to consume halal foods or kosher foods that's fine but bringing that to numbers to math it just seems it just seems bizarre it just seems weird and i don't know if other countries are doing it but i really i don't, I don't think so maybe muslim countries sure but it seems like this is a very woke and progressive thing that canada is announcing to appeal to Maybe a lot of the immigrants that we're bringing in. I'm not sure, but I'd love to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you agree with this or do you think that this is a little bit over the top? Canada having halal mortgages. I don't know, man. But speaking of over the top, we're going to wrap this up with uh, kind of a cool bit of an announcement. You have the GC Strategies individual uh, is now being questioned in the House of Commons. You're going to want to stay tuned to this channel. You're going to subscribe to this channel and potentially even Mr. Sunshine Extra. It is uh, linked down in the description. I'll try to put it down in the comments below uh, because they're doing this right now. He is in the House of Commons right now. He's swearing at the bar and they're going through the process of basically interrogating him on national television. It's pretty wild. And for those who don't know, this has to do with the Arrive Scam controversy okay so lots of crazy things happening in canada right now i'm sure there's more information that's going to be released over the next coming days about what's actually in this 400 page jk rowling harry potter book of a budget 2024 it's crazy that within 24 hours people already found the halal mortgages who knows what else is buried in there but that's where we're gonna to end today's video folks i'd love to know what you guys think down below in the comments about any of the topics that were covered on your way out i'd really like to encourage you guys one more time to smash like button subscribe if you have yet already and i will see you guys in the next one bye for now